Hola, welcome or welcome back. I'm Alexandra and this is a fragment of a channeling session between Tara, a consciousness, high consciousness that is being channeled through me in service for us, uh, humanity, and a community member that felt the call to have um, a session to receive answers. So um, I want to begin by giving thanks for allowing me to share parts of this session. The wisdom that is being shared benefits uh, us all. So in this part of the session, Tara is talking about imagination and, and channeling, how these two are connected. So I invite you to enjoy. We were talking about higher self that is always guiding you, even you believe or not, that does not mean that your higher self will ever stop guiding you, because it's you. It's like you would ask your blood to stop running. I'm angry today on you, blood. Stop running. It will continue running because it's part of yourself. The same you're human with your higher self. It cannot disconnect. So the language of your higher self is a language, we want to highlight it to you, that is different from the linguistically and logically, rationally structured way that you decided as society to communicate in between each other. You decided to communicate through this medium of sound being projected out of your vessel, of thought, mind forms being projected out in this form that is demonstrated now in front of you of spoken word and the fact that this is so common on earth everybody's doing it everybody's speaking words you get to believe that this is the only way that one can communicate but through your growth process you get to learn to discover to remember actually different ways of communication inside of yourself there are different let's say faculties different centers different antennas different portals of transmission radios and receiving of information the most used the most common as we said is the mind physical mind it's not the only mind that you have you see you have the higher mind if the semantics are blocking you if the spiritual community took off the weight of the word higher self use higher mind higher cloud of information of wisdom of intelligence your higher cloud of intelligence you are forever connected with this when you are in your human form and you have access to it you can connect ask questions like you see now you can draw information and guide your life your path every choice that you make you have access to it always but what you need to do is to train yourself to read the messages, to read, to learn the language of your higher cloud of information, of your higher mind. Because your higher mind does not communicate in this way. This is why it's hard for you to identify when your higher mind is talking to you. Because it does not talk loud and noisy 
does not talk, obviously, the voice of your inner self is silent, speechless, subtle. The way to begin to learn to identify the communication, which is the way to make your life better, easier, more abundant. Everything you need is inside of yourself. And no, it's not a cliche, because when you begin to discover what this means, you will understand. Once you begin to feel consciously this transmission that happens inside of yourself, you will understand that nothing around you, no book, no person, no science can give you what inside of yourself you have access to. Inside of yourself, you have a technology, the technology that creates everything, universe, nature, life, everything that the physical mind cannot even imagine. So let us come back. The tool that we want to give you helps you train yourself to begin to learn this language of your higher self, to use it from now on in your life. Because knowing your path in life, knowing what direction to take in general, will do when you begin to train yourself to read the messages of your higher cloud of information. The higher mind self version of yourself is communicating to you through subtle gut feelings, subtle random, as you would say, thoughts popping in your head that usually the physical mind does not believe and usually what the physical mind classifies as your imagination. Can you identify inside of yourself any thought that ever came to you and you felt, no, nah, this cannot be true, this is my imagination. Yes. We want to help you see and understand that what you call imagination is not something that is not real, is not something not to be taken seriously, but not seriously in a restricting way, seriously in a sacred way, honoring your imagination, because your imagination is actually one of the most powerful tools that your physical vehicle has. Your imagination is the one that is creating your reality, if you know or not. And your imagination is a high faculty that you hold and that helps you connect with higher realities. You are being taught that your imagination is something not to be trusted because it's just hallucinations or stupid, meaningless, useless things and waste of your time in your head. Well, here we are delivering you the message that now it's time to learn the power of your imagination. And from now on to begin to take all the material of your imagination that is being delivered to you as channeled material, because you are receiving this material in your head from the higher cloud of intelligence. This is being downloaded. And because what is being downloaded here is of a higher vibration than the physical self, is most of the time being categorized and judged as something too crazy. This is too much. No, I cannot do this. People will think I'm crazy. Or no, this cannot be true. This is just imagination. We invite you to take all the material of your imagination serious 
as channeled material. You are always channeling. Channeling is not something that just special people do. This is something that you are. You are now, in this moment, channeling your physical self. Now, this projection of the body is current, live, channeled material. You are channeling your existence. This is not something, a superpower. This is something that you always do. You cannot stop doing it. So begin to believe. It does not affect you if you don't believe in a different way other than just allowing yourself to experience a le least, least rich and least abundant reality that you could experience if you would allow yourself, if you would give the permission to yourself to dream more, to play more, play with your reality. Fear does not help you. Fear is like a small pet animal that is full of fleas that wants your attention. And you can give him love. You can take care of him. Hey, fear, look, I take the decision now to play big with my reality, to have fun, to enjoy my reality. I want to paint my reality in amazing ways. I will take care of you, fear. I will give you love and patience and how much time you need in order to stop biting my foot so we can go and fly in life. How does what we told you sit with you until this point? I think it's resonating a lot and it's really helping a lot. Thank you.